Howdy y'all, welcome back to Little Bits. Today, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about where I've been, what I've been doing, and uh, why I've been gone so long. Um, we all know why, it's been rough. Uh, I've been fortunate, I still have a full-time job. It is m uses most of my time, so a lot of my projects have not been uh, on camera lately. Now, I have been continuing to do projects and some of it has been filmed. I actually have some projects that have been ongoing since I first started posting that I occasionally get a little more footage for and a little more footage for. They might be kind of bigger projects than uh, I should have took on for a video. I could have broke them up into multiple videos, but they're underway now and that's a lesson I learned along the way. So. Maybe in the future, I will do more bite-sized portions of a project. I have learned a lot about uh, Z80 processors, how processors work in general. Um, I've kind of got the hang of assembly language, which I did not know when I first started making these videos. And uh, I think I have a lot more to offer than I used to in terms of teaching these things. Now, a lot of you may remember or some of you may remember my most popular video so far, uh, the putting together of the RC 2014. Now I've learned a lot with this computer and um, it's just great, it's wonderful, I love it. I've learned so much. I've used this uh, timer module that I said I would probably use separately a lot in a breadboard computer version of this that I made say hello world and that is how I learned assembly was just understanding how those connections are made. Uh, as a result, I have a better understanding of how the bus system here works. Now, um, what I'm excited about is uh, this, I've kind of run into my limitations with this one and I was considering expanding it, but when I got this, it was shortly before the release of the Classic 2 kit, which is an upgraded version of this kit. And I was considering just upgrading to that, and I realized, you know, if I upgrade it, I also want to expand it. And at a certain point, I just decided I'm going to get the Pro model. So there is a Pro model in this box, actually, these two boxes. Now, I already unwrapped the outside because it had my address and the seller's address and stuff on it, but uh, you can purchase this kit on tindy.com, T-I-N-D-I-E.com. Uh, just look for RC2014 and you'll find it. Now, let's uh, let's tear into this. I'm not gonna, I'm, this is just an unboxing. Uh, ignore this PCB, this is another kit that I suck at. Um, because it's all surface mount components, but uh, but that's not the topic of the video. That's a different that's a different session. Uh, the topic of the video today is let's look at what's in the box. Danger, danger zone. That's on there. Dropping knives. I know some of you are watching uh, just to see the day that I cut myself, um, and that's a good that's a good uh, expectation to have with how clumsily I do that sometimes. So we got a bunch of chips. We have RAM and ROM and the CPU itself. It looks like we have the serial module in there cool there's an operating system on here i will definitely boot it up to test with but so far i've been running collapse os on these things and i did not demonstrate collapse os yet i believe but when i first was talking about it which module is this when i first was talking about it uh, it was a very simple assembly based um, basic driven, very minimal basic uh, interpreter in there. Uh, that, oh, these are some prototype boards. These are so I can build my own peripherals for the device. This is 
exciting. This is the fun part. I, I actually kind of went online just to buy a few of these to plug them into my board. And then I was like, ah, well, you know, I want the compact flash module. And, um, this particular board can run the full CP slash M CPM operating system. Um, and it, it d indeed comes with it. Uh, but I probably will try to port Collapse OS to it because it is my favorite operating system in existence. Okay, so that's one box, and this is two boxes of stuff. Let's uh, go round two, see if I cut myself. talking about something earlier and I cut right off in the middle of a thought because I got distracted by the shiny objects in the box. Uh, excellent. Quite excellent. These are sockets and capacitors. More boards. More boards. And here is the backplane. This backplane has support for the RC2014 extended uh, connectors here, which give us access to more signals than this backplane here allows for. I also uh, have a another kit coming in uh, that will focus on one of the successors to the Z80, the Z180. And um, yeah, we're gonna have fun with that. So I'm not gonna put this together here. I just wanted to show everybody what I got, what's in the box. Uh, I do plan to make a video of putting it together. That will be a multi-session sit. There's not gonna be a, uh, a one day <laughs> soldering session for this enormous amount of components here. Um, I say enormous, it's it's not as daunting to me as it might look, but you know, we'll see if that statement stays true when, when I'm soldering. That's a substantial kit, and I am looking forward to putting it together. All right, y'all, so I hope to be back with more videos soon. I know a uh, bit of a channel update, I said, uh, so I did move, and that took up a lot of my time. Uh, we're sort of settled in now, but my office is still a mess. I have a lot more room, which was my biggest complaint in the old office, but here uh, I'm just, we got a lot to do. We still got a lot of, to work on to make this place a home. Uh, we're working on it. Oh, also check out this cool sticker. Oop. Gonna plop that on some kind of device. Anyway, Hopefully I'll have uh, this put together soon. I do want to use it for development. My goal with this is to develop for the Z80 line of processors, including the modern EZ80 processor. In fact, I plan to use this and other kits to get a feel for how to design my own EZ80 based computer because that is their latest series. And I would in fact like to get skilled at developing in an embedded device context where maybe I can create kits like this perhaps, or um, it find a job at a company where I get to work a little closer to the metal uh, someday. But yeah, y'all, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Oh yes, so Collapse OS. Um, that has become a, it's still very simple, but it's a fourth language based system now, which gives it a tremendous amount more power. At one point it was a novelty that was useful for understanding assembly. And now it's like a real tool that I can actually use and leverage. And I do plan very much to uh, port it to this system because right now it really runs on a handful of systems, including the original RC2014 that I have. Um, and I want it to be able to leverage all the hardware in this kit and uh, to just get it up and running as a tool that I can, can build other tools within. Um, yeah, so we'll have fun with that. 
You might think I'm a mad person. Uh, I probably am. So deal with it. Peace.